Hey everyone, here's my silver and gold stack video. Today is March 3rd, 2013, and here's what I have so far since summer 2012. I'd like to start off by saying thanks everyone for subscribing and leaving such nice comments. I really appreciate each and every one, every single one of you. It really makes me feel like I'm part of a community and a group. Some people who I watch all the time and make silver videos of their own have subscribed to me too. Uh, thank you guys too for supporting me. Um, when I first started, I tried my best to collect one of everything and pay a bit of a premium for some. Um, but now I've realized it's just not worth it. Uh, when I started, I thought that this was probably probably going to be some kind of phase. So I tried my best to have some coins from many different countries. But now that I'm getting deeper and deeper into the investing part of silver and gold, I'm starting to narrow down on what I um, will buy. I think in the future the main silver coins in my collection will consist of um, both what I call semi-bullion and bullion bullion. Uh, if you guys watched my previous video um, somewhere you guys will know what I'm talking about. Uh, but again the semi-bullion will be the pandas and the perth mint koalas, kookaburras and lunar series. For the bullion bullion I think I will have most mostly uh, American silver eagles and Canadian maple leaves. I think I may go more for the Canadian maple leaves just because they are four nines fine. And another weird thing is that they seem to be slightly cheaper too, which doesn't make much sense to me because it's more pure than the silver eagles. So I just I would I would assume that the Canadian maple leaves would carry more of a premium than the silver eagles, but I guess not. But let's get on with my collection for gold first. So for those of you who actually watch um, my previous video, here's my here's the one that started it all. The one that my mother gave to me. It's a 19, uh, 1982 quarter ounce panda. Here's the Austrian Philharmonic. It's also a quarter ounce. 49's fine. Uh, 1989. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, I'm assuming that is, or I'm pretty sure that 1989 is the first year that they started minting these. So yeah, um, it says 500 shillings, but uh, I think that in 2002, uh, yeah, 2002 is when they started making it the Euro. Um, it's actually right here. I actually have a 10th ounce Austrian Philharmonic made in 2002. Let me focus in on that if I can. There you go. Yep. 10 euro. Very beautiful coin. I really like the style that they read their edges. Um, you guys obviously can't see but I'm looking at it right now and it's uh, I think it's beautiful the way they do it. It's very unique. Here's my quarter ounce Britannia. Here's my newest one. It's the 2013 10th ounce gold pandas. Here's my 10th ounce Dragon Lunar Series, Series 2. I like how it comes in its own little capsule. I didn't, I didn't have to buy an airtight for it. I actually won't be removing this out of the seal. I know some people do. Some people just want to hold it. Um, I want to keep it in there just so then it makes me feel, feel good and makes me sleep better at night that no one, no human hands have touched it. Pretty sure someone has touched that the mint, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Here's my 
10th ounce Canadian maple leaf. These two, um, this one's from Bhutan. Celebrating the coronation anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II, one certum. It's a really nice reverse. I think it's really cool. Here's the coin from the Cook Islands. These are these are both um, 25th ounce gold coins, one over 25. Really, really small. Paid quite a premium for that, and you know, um, I got them a while ago. It's actually um, during the summer. Um, I learned my lesson. Those were pretty high. Uh, those cost quite a bit of a premium, so not doing it again. Learn my mistake and uh, won't do it again. Now, on to the silver. Yep. All 2013 silver pandas. All of them. They all came in a really nice condition. Their own little capsules. I got them while the premium is still low. Even though um, their mintage this year is six million, and really high compared to what they had before, uh, I still really it's to me it's six million is nothing compared to the forty million that they make a year for the American Silver Eagles. Sorry for the light reflection, guys. This one right here is a 2013 silver pan as well. Starting from up here, this is a half ounce silver panda, 1997. It's a really cute little coin. Panda looking in the pond. I really like this one. Um, let me know if I made a bad mistake on this, but. I see a lot of these um, on eBay for pretty high in like the hundreds, a couple and one hundred something for a half ounce of these. Uh, let me know if I got lucky or not, but I got this this little one, this this little guy. It's a half ounce for thirty seven dollars, I believe. Thirty seven dollars. Spot was spot for a one full ounce was I think thirty one dollars at the time. Um, so I got this for $37. This is only a half ounce. But let me know if I got a good deal on this um, for numis numismatically um, wise. But I see a lot of these on eBay for uh, for pretty high price. Here's my 2009. I actually got two of these. Uh, one for me, one for my girlfriend. Uh, she has one too. Uh, we both really love this design. We think it's really cute, very adorable. I think it's the best design yet um, that they ever made, came out with. Here's a 2010, I believe. Yes, 2010, 2011, 2012. Here's my Canadian maple leaf, my first one. 2011. I have two of the polar bears. I'm actually contemplating on getting a couple more of these for numismatic value. Very thick coin. Very, very thick.
Here's a Canadian Maple Leaf. It's a different finish. It's a Snake Privy one. Um, 2013. If you look at the finish on these, really different. Here's the Bullion Bullion. Here's the Privy Marked one. It has more of a frost finish to it. I really like that. I really, really like how they finish for this one. It's just completely different. It looks completely different to me. It just has a lot more contrast in this one. I think it's beautiful. Uh, I think the frosting on this one is a lot nicer than how they frost their backgrounds for the Perth Mint Australia Lunar Series. Very beautiful. Here's my first uh, Canadian Wildlife Series silver coin. I got the Grizzly. Really like that. Paid quite a premium for this one, but it's not as high as a premium as it is um, for the Wolf. Definitely not going to get that. It's too late for me to get those at a good price. Um, but for this one, um, I kind of spoiled myself a little bit, a little bit, and just, uh, just went with it. I have these eight right here. They're all Austrian Philharmonics. I actually like these quite a bit too. I think for the bullion bullion part of my collection, I might actually have a good number of these. I really like these because they have such a nice mirror finish. It's not proof, but I like. I actually like the finish on these a lot more than proof finishes. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I can definitely tell the difference. This more, looks more mirror-like. For the proof ones, they just look more shiny. Like I don't know if that made sense to you guys, but... I uh, really like those. And here are my Perth Mint Silver, uh, silver 1 ounce. I have the Snake. And the Year of the Mouse. I thought of my sister when I got this one. My sister's born the Year of the Mouse, uh, 1984. So 2008 marked the year she turned 24. Might be thinking about getting um, the Year of the Sheep, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Dog. For my mom, my dad, my brother, and I. But for the Series 1s, um, those are a little bit expensive right now, so I don't think I'm going to be getting those. But if I'm going to be investing in a silver for for a while, uh, I should just wait for those to come out for the Australia Lunar Series 2. Here's my Kookaburra 2013. I like this design the best, actually. Between this one and this other one right here, 1991, I really like this one as well. I don't know. I don't know when they changed it, but I think the earlier one says five, has a denomination of five dollars. The newer ones, one dollar. It's a little interesting. My koalas, bring them both out. This one's the newer one, 2013. Much nicer looking than the 2012 one. 2012 one looked a little awkward. Don't know about you guys, but that's just my opinion. I really like the 2009 design. Um, got this at my local coin shop. And really like how the background looks like a crumpled up piece of foil. Thought that was kind of cool. I apologize for the I apologize guys that this video is kind of long but we're almost done. Last one. Somalian silver. 
the elephants. 2011. Thought this was cute. The mom and the baby elephant. Somali Republic. 100 shillings. I have a 2012 and 2013 as well. Very, very beautiful coins. Really similar finish, but I think a little bit better than the Philharmonics. Both really, really nice. Rwanda. One ounce silver from Rwanda. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I have a year of the rhino and uh, the one, the rhino on it and the cheetah. Both very nice. Don't kill me for this, but or don't hate me for this, but I removed them from the sleeves or the seals that they came in, just so I can get them in a nice airtight. I promise you guys, I didn't actually touch these with my bare hands. Once I put them in these uh, air tights, put with them all I want. But even so, I try to um, keep as many scratches away from the surface as I can. I really like these two. American Silver Eagle. Looks very basic and plain to me. Kind of annoys me how... Well, I should be used to this now, but if you guys noticed, the American Silver Eagle, for you to look at the reverse, you have to flip it vertically this way. Whereas other bullying, you just flip it horizontally like that. And then you can see it. But for the American, for American coins, you flip it vertically. My silver one ounce Britannia. See what I mean? Go horizontally for for other coins. Mexican Libertads from Mexico. One onza. Both have very different designs. Oh, and again, you don't flip them horizontally, you flip them vertically. Now watch. <laughs> Tokelau, one ounce, you're the snake. It's the first attempt at the Lunar Series. I like it. It's pretty nice. I like how they have the eggs. I think it's a little weird how they have the year right there, 2013, just randomly placed right there. It's like they just stamped it there. It doesn't really flow much with the design. I don't know. That's just me, though. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And I don't exactly know what that is. Um, I hope I don't offend anybody, but it looks like kind of a purse. I really, I really don't know what it is, but don't get mad at me for it if you guys, you know, are from Tokelau or something. But um, sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody. But yeah, really nice. Maybe it'll carry a numismatic value. Fiji. Oh no. Good thing I have these in the air tights, right? <laughs> Fiji Takus. Really nice. Kind of looks a little funny in the background. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks really uneven. Meh, doesn't really bother me that much though, but it looks a little funny to me. I really like the design of this too. Very nice finish. My apologies, this video is really long. It's almost a 20 minute video. Here's Noah's Ark, Armenia. And you guys kind of see me. I just caught myself uh, reflecting this on my face. And last one Marshall Islands. 
One ounce to the Heroes of Desert Storm, 1991. Very nice mirror finish. Guys could have almost seen me too in that one. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have. So yeah, that is my collection. I still, oh yeah, if you guys were wondering what this little guy was, <laughs> I actually um, keep my boom my five ounce pucks in here. Uh, here's Puck and here's Chuck. I named them. <laughs> I call this one Puck. I call this one Chuck. Um, it's funny how I named them. Um, Silver v Fish VT. If you're watching this, um, send me a um, comment or send me a message. You know, a uh, nice pickup. Uh, it's like um, nice little pucks you got there. You know, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I might just name uh, name. This one Puck. Thought it'd be kind of funny. This one Chuck. <laughs> Puck and Chuck. Really like these. Massive coins, both five ounces. For those of you who had the ten ounces, <laughs> um, those are awesome. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get one of those, but for now I'll stick to the five ounces. And yeah. So yeah, that is my collection. I still have more silver coming in. I made another order for, for more silver. I will keep that as a secret for now of what I ordered. Uh, I'll tell you what though, I ordered from Gainesville Coins and if any of you have ordered from them, uh, you'll agree with me that they take, take quite a while. So just bear along with me. I won't have any videos posted until after the 18th of this month because of spring break. I'm um, going back home to California to visit my family and to get my wisdom teeth extracted. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a gopher for about a week. What a great way to spend spring break, right? <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. I hope everyone is taking advantage of the silver dip right now. So keep stacking everybody.